To demonstrate the flat felt seam, I have two pieces of scrap denim here that I will be using. And I have the light side is my wrong side, and the dark is my right side. And for the sake of this tutorial, I will be making my flat felt seam along this edge here. So before anything else, I wanna make an important note. Please make sure that your pattern pieces are cut with at least a 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. If your pattern comes with a 3 eighths of an inch or, or a quarter of an inch, then add seam allowance so that you have at least 5 eighths of an inch to work with. So begin by um, lining up your pattern pieces with the right sides together. And with my seam on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and just pin this together to start. All right, so now I have my stitch put together, just a straight stitch. So I have these raw edges here, okay? And whatever side you want to top stitch on, so let me open this and tell you what I mean. If I wanted my top stitching on this side, this piece of fabric, okay? That's this piece of fabric here. Then I'm going to be trimming down this piece, this side of my seam allowance. So let's go ahead and trim it down. So you're not gonna be doing both sides you will only be trimming one side. And I'm gonna trim this down to about just over a quarter of an inch. So now that this side has been trimmed down, we still have this long edge here of our seam allowance. We wanna press these two pieces of denim flat along our seam here, okay? So we wanna press it flat with both pieces of the seam allowance folding over in this direction. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm gonna grab my handy Taylor's Clapper. I love my Taylor's Clapper. If you do not have one, um, I highly recommend it. It makes it really easy to get nice flat seams and creases with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and press this. Okay, now both sections of my seam allowance are pressed this way. So the next thing we're gonna do is fold over this long edge of our seam allowance to enclose the short side of our seam allowance. One thing that's important to note is that the edge of this long side here meets up with the stitch line. So I have my stitches right here as you can see. I'll try to zoom in for you. Okay, so you can see my stitch right there. And we want the edge of this to just hit on top of that. If it goes past it, then we're gonna be creating even more seam allowance. It's gonna make your garment too tight. So you just want the edge of this, this long seam allowance to be touching your stitch line right there. Now the last thing to do is to encase this raw edge here. So how we're gonna do that is take this fold and simply fold it down over top of itself. Now all of our raw edges are enclosed. So I'm gonna go ahead and unfold, press, and pin this part into place. Next we're going to swap out our regular thread for some top stitching thread. Now I'm gonna use this gold to get that nice gold denim top stitching. Now we're gonna go ahead and top stitch, making sure that we catch the fold as we go. So check out that beautiful flat felt seam. We have our nice decorative double stitching, but like I mentioned before, you can do st single stitches if you prefer. If we flip it over to the back side, you'll see how perfectly smooth it is. No raw edges, no serger stitches, no zigzag stitches. It's all nice and smooth. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future videos.